Okay, how's it going, guys? So, for the uh, first update of the aquaponics grow, these uh, plants, the two lettuces, uh, have been in the system for a little less than a week. They've been in the system for six days. And they are a little over two weeks old from seed. So, um... They've really grown a lot since they've gotten put into the system, but they're still fairly young. We do have two little uh, spinach sprouts that just came out. Those were sown directly into the grow bed. I may not have enough room in between these two, um, so we'll see how big the, the lettuce heads get. Um, but I, I sowed a few of them and two came up, so I figured might as well put it right there um, and see uh, see if I do have room at the end. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, the first update. the The lights are a little bit deceiving on the on the quality of the plants. That red really doesn't show how really nice and green they are. You can see when I turn them off, they're just so nice and almost neon green. So super healthy. They're loving the light. They're loving the water. Um, and I can already tell that the fish are way more active. And so I think that uh, I think that they're already cleaning the water because the fish are way more active and they seem to be really happy. So super excited, and uh, I'll try to do some updates. Um, I'm actually leaving for eight days for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna have a friend of mine feed the fish a few times while I'm gone. Um, but it's gonna be really interesting to see when I get back what these look like, how big they really grow, and. Uh, Really just, you know, excited to see the continuation of these plants. So Okay guys, so I'm back from my work trip and as you can tell, these lettuce heads completely just exploded. Um, I was gone for eight days, uh, however, since the last video it's been ten days, but you can tell, I mean, the size comparison is just absolutely crazy. Um, once they got a good root system, I guess they really just took off. Really cool, you see there's uh, some spinach there. I'm not sh exactly sure how that's doing yet. That was planted a lot later than these lettuce. These lettuces were put in the system and the lettuces were actually sprouted in a, in a different location and then planted into the system when they already kind of had an established root system. So I'm, I'm still hoping out for the uh, spinach to come out. But yeah, super cool, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna harvest some of this tomorrow and we'll get a really cool first taste of uh, what it looks like. A couple things I'm noticing upon coming back to the system. Number one, it's really weird but the the leaves of the lettuce are super different, um, enough to make me wonder if it's the same type of lettuce. Um, both of the seeds came from the same bag. They were supposed to both be um, the same type of lettuce um, and those were seeds that I actually bought off of Etsy and I believe they were white Boston butterhead lettuce um, but it's it's odd right it's they're very different leaves these are completely smooth and uh, these are much bumpier leaves and then the, just the spacing of the leaves too this plant seems to be much airier uh, and this plant seems to be much more dense so wondering if how that could happen they've been in the same system so just kind of odd Number two is the system that I use to put water has seemed to get clogged somehow. I have noticed that um, even though this plant's growing, it's probably because it has roots on the bottom that's staying wet, but uh, it's completely dry in the tube here. And so after I harvest these one or two times, I'm gonna probably have to pull them out of the system and rethink how to do that watering because at this point you know those roots are all the way down through everything um, and so as they're growing this good I really don't want to mess that up but it is just something to look for um, and that's it guys the second thing I'll say is that I left for eight days and the levels in the fish tank are still awesome I did do a partial water change before I left but I really think having these plants up above helped out with the fish water a lot the fish seemed to be super happy, weren't stressed out at all, and so that's just another reason I have the system. So I just uh, took a little of the spinach for the older one. You can see here, 
I also realized that in that last video, I had the purple lights on the LEDs and you really couldn't see just how green and beautiful uh, this lettuce looks. It looks absolutely delicious. Um, I have a nice little salad here that I'm gonna wash off and, uh, and eat, but yeah, beautiful. I could probably take a little bit more off, um, but I really don't need that much. I'm just gonna have a nice little salad and uh, it's gonna be cool the first time using the salad homegrown. Okay, so we harvested uh, both of these lettuce heads at about five weeks. Um, it's been about four or five days since we harvested both. Um, and you can see how the plants continue to just be so different. It's really, really odd. You can see these are just long, thin leaves. These are, you know, short, fat, stubby leaves. Um, really interesting. The taste is very similar. Just the, the plant itself, they just look so different. Very interesting. I did notice some um, tip burn um, on this plant. Um, and by putting a fan and raising the lights a little bit, the new growth looks a lot better. And so I think, uh, I think that's pretty much solved. Um, that was actually one of the comments I got on the video was, you know, put a fan on the plants. I did that. Looking it up, it seems like sometimes the plants cannot get enough calcium if they don't have good airflow. So put a really low volume oscillating fan on them and uh, seems to do the trick. The spinach is growing really slow, um, but it still looks okay. The leaves are still nice and uh, nice and green. You know, this is with the LED, so shutting it off, you guys can see that these plants are just very, very green. Um, they were very tasty. Taste was really good. They were not bitter. Um, they made for two pretty good sized salads. I ate them on, on two separate days. And so things are going pretty well. Uh, like I said, you know, there's definitely a problem with the, the watering um, system going into the grow bed. Um, I see that happening more and more. Um, looking down in here, the roots are just really grown around the, the, the plumbing. And I think, I think the roots are all within that pipe. I actually saw some of the roots growing down into the pipe itself. And so I know, I think that's part of the reason they're getting all clogged up. So gonna have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. They're growing very, very well. And uh, looking forward to harvesting a second and a third time. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is I actually have another aquaponic setup. It's a smaller setup, just on my desk. Um, and this is a little bit different because it's just doing a deep water culture. And so these are just growing directly into the fish tank. This is a little three gallon, just, you know, right there on my desk, nothing too fancy. You can see some of those guppies swimming around. Um, and this is going pretty well now. This, uh, this lettuce plant has been in the system for about two and a half weeks really starting to get some gain some ground growing a lot faster as of late you can see that root system's really starting to get nice and uh and established and then we have some sweet basil um i've actually done this before with sweet basil and, and sweet basil is pretty easy to grow um this has also been in the system for about two and a half weeks off a really a really little cutling so um yeah growing really well i put these little foam blocks in there so that it's, it's uh, suspended a little bit to get some of those air roots um, out of the water because one problem I have had in this system is that when I fill it back up, if I filled it to the top, um, it can kind of suffocate some of those air roots and you get some root rot and the plant really doesn't do so well. So pulled it up about an inch. Hopefully that won't uh, happen anymore. Just have a, a simple um, complex for a fluorescent uh, desk lamp providing the light there and uh, yeah I haven't shown you guys this before so I thought I'd introduce it here okay guys so this is three days after the last update um, I actually left for the weekend I went out of town and coming back I've noticed that the leaves are just very wilted they're really soft you can see them kind of laying down um, 
and so I'm a little concerned about the roots of these plants. I'm not sure if they may be experiencing some root rot. Um, I'm actually going to try to dry out this bed. I turned off the pump. I'm going to try to turn the pump off for a few hours, maybe try to get, um, you know, the, the roots a little bit drier. Um, but we're going to see. This is a little concerning. Um, so given the update on, on this, the uh, deep water cultured um, lettuce and basil are both really growing nice. You can see that the, the lettuce is really going to start packing on some weight now. Um, from a couple days ago, it's already grown quite substantially and uh, looks really good and healthy. Same with the basil. There's a lot of these little nodes that I'm actually planning on using, you know, this plant as the mother and then taking all these cutlings and, and starting more plants. Um, so going super, super well. You can see the, the roots are really well established down there. Um, and yeah, yeah, doing really good. Okay guys, so it has been one full week since the last update. Um, you can see the uh, the lettuce heads are definitely starting to grow back pretty nice. Um, albeit the, the leaves are a lot smaller than the first time. It's really nice and you know thick in there, but the, the leaves are smaller and um, doesn't look, I guess, as full as the first go around. The wilted leaves does seem to be remedied a bit. Um, I do think it was some root rot. Really the only thing I did to help this is I, instead of having this go continuously 24 seven, I thought that giving it some pauses where it dried out a little bit and then sucked down more air, um, giving it kind of like intervals would help. And so that's what I did. Nothing too crazy, but it seemed to work. And um, it definitely seems like the leaves are not as wilted. But this is actually gonna be the last update for this first trial. Um, I am leaving for nine days for Christmas. I'm gonna go see family in the Midwest and going to harvest these and kind of shut the system down for those nine days just to avoid anything happening um, and to also probably change the system a bit when I get back after using some of the things you know I learned here. Going over to the deep water culture um, version, Definitely, it has experienced a bunch of growth. Looks really, really good. And I'm also gonna harvest this today, but I'm I'm gonna leave it going while I'm while I'm gone. It's it looks like it's doing really well. The the roots are really nice and white uh, for both the basil and the and the lettuce. And so we're gonna keep this one keep this one going. I think if anything, it will help the the fish out a bit just by cleaning some of the the nitrate out of the water and uh yeah so definitely definitely doing really well pretty excited about the results on this guy and so that's it guys that is the first update um if you have any recommendations or have any experience doing these and maybe some of the things i experienced please put that down in the comment section below and also if you have any questions let me know if you guys want to see me do more of these videos um, I definitely will. I plan to continue to kind of like experiment and to improve the systems a bit to get to a, a point at which I feel pretty good about. So I would love to hear your opinion and uh, would love to hear if you uh, like what we're doing here. Appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you next time.